Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the reduce operator. This is the last operator in that comes under the mathematical and aggregate operators. We have learned about the count, max, min, these all things we have learned. Now we are learning about the last operator that is reduce. So what is this reduce operator? Reduce operator something like what I can say is it is just similar to scan operator only. But whereas the scan operator gives us the result each time. So uh, performing the logic with the accumulator it will give you the result, it will emit the result each time. But whereas the reduce operator it will calculate that one using the accumulator but it will return you the last value only. Okay, it will return you the last value only. That is the reduce thing. So here you will try to see that applies an accumulator function over the source observable. So it will apply the accumulator function logic over the va each value of the source observable and returns the accumulated result when the source complete. So it will return the data when the source is complete. When the observable starts emitting the value, then only it stops emitting value, then only it will emit, emit you the accumulated result. So gives an, uh, so you can also give an optional seed value which you uh, have all, which you can already know that you will be also giving in the scan operator also. The same thing, so just the difference between the scan operator and reduce operator is scan operator will give you the result each time uh, logic is performed by the accumulator whereas this reduce operator will give you the last value, last value means when the source observable is completed emitting the values then only it will give you the final result. So that is the main difference between the reduce and the scan. Here if you try to see the same op uh, the same parameters you will be having, reduce operator you will be having an accumulator and also you can give an optional seed value. If if you do if you didn't provide any seed value means the value the first value that is uh, came that, that came to the accumulator that will be taken as an accumulator default accumulator. So if the first value coming from the source observable is taking a value into the accumulator. Now accumulator function this is the function seed means optional is a defined. So you can give the initial uh, initial accumulation value. Now if you here if you try to see this marble diagram and here if you try to see this is a source observable having the values 1, 3, 5 and it is passing through the reduce and here what is happened? So first value it will be coming to here current value will be 1 and the default value given is the 0 that means accumulator at the first time it will be 0. So now what it will happen 0 plus 1 it will be 1. Now the accumulator will become 1. Now 3 value comes here. Now 3 plus 1, 4, again the accumulator will become 4, the result value will be taken away the accumulator and here 5 comes, 4 plus 5, 9 and that value, so now source observable is completed, now this 9 value will be emitted to the output observable. So the final value, accumulated value will be emitted to the <coughs> output observable. So this is the scan operator, the, the 9 value will be emitted to the output observable, this is the reduce operator. Now if you try to see, let us try to see the practical implementation of this reduce. Same thing, the, how you will be implementing the scan operator in the same scenario you will be having. So here let us try to create reduce operator. Now let us try to create operators dot component dot html. Here I am creating everything and here I will try to give reduce, sorry and here I will try to add reduce. And another one what I can do is app routing module and here in this one app routing module I will try to add reduce operator component. Let us try to add reduce operator component. I am giving reduce, reduce operator component right, reduce operator sorry it is not added. So let us try to add it again reduce operator right reduce operator operator component let us try to add it at the top so we do not know why it is uh, supporting so here I can add reduce and here I can use I can close this one also. Yeah, page slash reduce operator slash reduce operator component. Yes, that's it. Let's go to the reduce operator component implementation. Now here I am having something like let's assume that let's source dollar the same scenario of 
वन कामा टू कामा थ्री कामा फोर कामा फाइव लेट्स ट्राई टू सी द आउटपुट सो आई एम हैविंग ओ एफ ऑफ ओके नो आई विल बी पासिंग टू द सब्सक्राइब नो हियर आई विल एड कंसोल डॉट लॉग ऑफ रिजल्ट प्लस डेटा ओके दिस इज द रिजल्ट नो आई विल यूज दिस रेड्यूज ऑपरेटर now reduce i can use the reduce which should be imported from the rxjs and you will be having three values accumulator and the value and here what i can do is i will return i will return accumulator plus value okay that's it now if you want you can mention the default value something like zero so the first time accumulator will be zero now here if i want i can also print accumulator plus acc and here you will be having value sorry value well that's it okay now let's try to see the output rxjsb6 now if i go to the inspect element and if i try to see the output here console let's go to the console and if i click on the reduce yeah first time the accumulator is zero why because we have mentioned the default value as zero now accumulator is zero and the current value first is displayed empty is 1 so 0 plus 1 it will become 1 so as it is as this one is a re, uh, reduce so it will not print the result it it doesn't went into the subscribe okay so 0 plus 1 and again the accumulator what has happened accumulator has became 1 And one, and the value emitted is two. So accumulator has become three. Why? Because one plus two, three. Accumulator has become three, and again the value is three. So three plus three, six. So like this, it will go on. At the, the last, the result will be printed. So that means it will give you the last value. Now the same scenario, we can implement this one using the scan also. The scan also does the same thing, but what it will do is it will give you the result each time. So let's try to show you the same output. So now what I will try to do is here. instead of using this one i will use the scan okay the same thing instead of using this one i will use the scan so the last output you are getting it as 15 right let's try to see the output now what will happen now the accumulator is 0 and the value is 1 so 0 plus 1 and the result is printed so that means every time it is going to the subscribe now here if you try to see accumulator is 1 and the value is 2 1 plus 2 it is result is 3 now again the result has become accumulator 3 Value is three, three plus three six. At the last, it has become fifteen. But whereas this, what I can say, whereas if I copy and do the, this one down, whereas the reduce will not print all the all the result values, so it will go only one time. That too, last time to the subscribe. Now, if you try to see the same output, so accumulator value result accumulator value each time it is going to the subscribe, and last it is printing the fifteen, right? here in the same scenario here the result is not printed at the last it is printing the result so now if i want to do the same thing what i can do here the scan i need to go only last time to the resubscribe right i can use another operator that is last operator so only print the last values now if i try to see the output sorry the last we need to import it from the rxjs operator rxjs now if i try to see the output let's try to see the output now the same thing happens here the same thing accumulator so the value last it has printed the result 17 the same logic it has been executed and again the result 50 has printed in the last time so the reduce and the scan using the combination with the last operator is one and the same thing using the reduce thing so you can use both the things so instead of applying this both the operators you you can apply this reduce and you can get the same result so this is about the reduce operator not scan operator reduce operator so scan operator will give you every time the accumulator result but here the reduce operator will not give you the accumulator result it will give you the result at the last only so this is all about the reduce thing hope you understood about the reduce if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you